Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carmen. Welcome. So the planet is going through a huge shift right now. We are moving from the third dimension into the five dimension and the planet is going through a huge spiritual awakening. A lot of people are waking up. We're going to see a lot of really big changes happening in the future because of this. And so if you haven't already, check out my video that I did on the Great Awakening that is happening right now. You can also check out the video that I did about the Great Change that will be taking place this year, that we'll be seeing change massively on all levels in terms of our culture, and our economics and the world around us. Just everything is going to be changing as we move into 5D. So check out that video as well. I'll put a link to it below also in the description box. You are most likely a light worker if you watch my videos or if you just happen to stumble across this, then you are probably a light worker. That is somebody that is helping to make the spiritual awakening happen. So you're one of those people that is basically helping to spread the light and helping to make this transition from the 3D into the 5D go a little bit smoother for the world. So basically we're being upgraded right now and upgrades are not always easy. It's not always an easy transition. When something changes, when it transforms and goes through a transformation, things have to be broken down and things have to be, you know, destroyed and dismantled so that it can be rebuilt again and be built even better. But things are not always easy when you go through this transformation and the world has definitely experienced that starting in the year 2020 and continuing on. The world has definitely had a lot of challenges and it hasn't been easy for anybody. We're basically transitioning into a brand new era, the energetic era, which is going to be the era of energy. And people are going to start to realize how important energy is. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not there and it has a huge impact on our world and has a huge impact on everything and people are finally going to start to wake up to this and see that how important energy is even if you can't see it. So there are some things that you need to do to protect yourself and to keep yourself healthy and safe and also to make the transition easier for you. The transition from going from the 3D into the 5D can be difficult if there are certain things that you are not doing. Now, I wanna say beforehand that I'm not trying to say that I'm better than anybody else just because I follow a certain diet or I do certain things. I'm not trying to preach to anybody. We all have the right to do what we want. These are just things that have worked for me. I haven't been sick in three years, knock on wood, <laughs> and I've been able to keep my vibration pretty high um, basically during the whole year of 2020 when a lot of bad things were happening. I was able to keep my vibration pretty high by using some of these methods. So I just wanted to share it with you guys today just to help you out because it's helped me out. Just take from this whatever resonates with you. Ever since I started using a lot of these things, my psychic abilities have grown a lot and it's really helped to activate my third eye. The more chemicals and the more substances you have in your body, it prevents you from opening up your third eye and developing some of your psychic abilities. Some of your abilities that you've had this whole time, such as claircognizance and clairvoyance. So these are your God-given abilities that you've had this whole time, but a lot of this has been blocked off because we're using substances in our environment, we're using cleaners and we're using certain things and we're eating certain kinds of foods that basically block this from happening. So I wanted to share this information with you because a lot of it will help you to develop more of your psychic abilities during this time. As we transition into the 5D, it's going to become a lot easier to become psychic, to become a channeler if you want to get into that, if you want to develop your third eye. But you won't be able to do that if you have a lot of toxicity within your system. The first thing is that you want to try to keep your diet as clean as possible. I try to avoid eating all processed food and I eat organic food and organic produce as much as I possibly can. And also, I try to leave out gluten and dairy as much as possible. Dairy and gluten are very inflammatory and they inflame your system. Basically, they cause 
inflammation within the body and your immune system has to take care of that inflammation. And because of that, it can't defend itself from other viruses and things like that. And so you're more likely to get sick when you eat inflammatory things such as gluten and dairy. Now I haven't been sick in three years, so it's been a while. And I keep dairy and gluten out of my diet, I would say 90% of the time. During the holidays, it can be difficult to do this. Yes, um, you know, dairy and gluten are basically in everything during the holidays. <laughs> um, you know, and every once in a while, you might wanna have, you know, some dairy or some gluten, right? So it's hard to keep it out 100% of the time. I try to keep it out 90% of the time. When I do eat something that has dairy and gluten in it, I always use digestive enzymes that help me to digest dairy and gluten because unfortunately, most of us don't have the enzymes in our bodies to help break the substances down. Um, dairy and gluten are very difficult for the body to break down. And so, I, these are natural enzymes. We all have enzymes within our body. This is just aiding my natural enzymes to help break those substances down. So I always take this whenever I do eat gluten and dairy, and then I will afterwards take coconut charcoal. Coconut charcoal is a biohack that a lot of health practitioners have been using for centuries. And basically what it does is it removes anything toxic in your food so that you do not um, are not harmed by its harmful effects. Mm. And so on those few occasions when I do eat something with gluten and dairy, I will take the digestive enzymes first, I will eat the thing with gluten and dairy, but then I always take this afterwards, and this basically helps to absorb anything toxic within the food that I've eaten, and it removes the gluten and dairy basically from it, and helps to break it down and remove it from the body. Now, I don't drink alcohol or caffeine. I haven't in many years, and I'm not saying that, you know, you don't have to do that. Remember what I said, just take what resonates with you. But if you can try to keep substances like alcohol and caffeine out of your diet, that's definitely gonna help you to raise your vibration because those stimulants within your body, a lot of times they cause anxiety. They make, um, they make you worry about things that you shouldn't. They cause all these reactions within your body that you don't even know are happening. So try to limit that as much as possible. But if you're not able to, you can also take the coconut charcoal right before you have something with alcohol in it. The coconut charcoal um, will help to absorb all of the alcohol and it will help to basically protect your body from it. So this is great because it's, you can just use it for anything. Anything at all that is toxic to the body can basically be absorbed with coconut charcoal. And I'll leave links below so you can, you can get all of these products if you wanna check them out. And I'll leave some links below to some articles that kind of show the benefits of coconut charcoal. I also take organic vitamins. Synthetic vitamins are very difficult for the body to absorb, so I take organic vitamins that come from fruits and vegetables because they're much easier for the body to absorb. Another thing I do as well that has been really good for me in terms of protecting me from getting sick and getting viruses and getting the cold is I take pine bark extract. Pine bark extract, studies have actually shown, can prevent you from getting the flu, it can prevent you from getting other viruses because it prevents the replication of viruses within the body. So this is a great thing to use. So everything that you put into your body is going to affect you to some degree. And it will either help you or it will hurt you during this transitional period. So you wanna be very careful about that. You also wanna be very careful about what you put on top of your body as well. Because whatever you put on top of your skin, that gets absorbed into your system. And that can also make this transitional period more difficult if you have all kinds of things that are being absorbed into your body that are harmful or that are toxic in some sort of way. A lot of deodorants that are out there have aluminum in them. They also have other toxic ingredients that get absorbed into your body that make you feel more anxious, that make, you know, that make you feel more negative. And so I use a deodorant called Piper Y. This one is made out of activated charcoal and it's got other really good healthy ingredients in here. It's got like essential oils and everything, no aluminum. It's highly effective. A lot of natural deodorants aren't, but this one I found is very, very effective. 
I also try to use body washes and face washes that are free of parabens and free of other toxic chemicals and things because those are bad as well. You know, when you're using them to wash on your skin, those things can get into your skin and they can be absorbed into your body. So I'll leave some links below to body washes and face washes that I use that, um, that are kind of free of most of these chemicals and these synthetic substances. Um, now, also makeup, a lot of people don't realize this, makeup is full of toxic chemicals that can be absorbed into your body. Your body is basically absorbing anything that you put onto it, and people don't realize this. So I use a makeup brand called 100% Pure, um, and they make foundations, they make mascara, lipsticks, like all kinds of makeup. Anything that you need, they make it, and it's great because it's 100% pure. <laughs> so it's 100% pure of any chemicals, and I like it because it's just made out of fruit. It's made out of fruit. That's like the number one ingredient on the list is fruit. <laughs> so I really like it because it's good makeup, it's high quality, but it's very, it's very safe. You know, it's just like putting fruit on your skin and you know, that's good for your skin. So another thing to look for is toothpaste. Toothpaste often has fluoride in it and fluoride is really, really bad because it it basically blocks off and calcifies your pineal gland and your pineal gland is basically your third eye and it helps to basically make you more psychic and it helps you to have extrasensory perceptions such as clairvoyance and clairaudience and claircognizance and if your gland is calcified then it's very difficult for you to open your third eye and to experience some of these more psychic abilities. So you want to look for toothpaste that doesn't have any fluoride in it. But I'll put a recipe to the toothpaste below, so if you want to make it yourself, you can do that. And basically, when you're looking at the ingredients of things, you just want to look for things that don't have any chemicals in them. When you are cleaning your house, you want to look for cleaners that are all natural. The more you can keep these harmful things out of your body, the more easier this transitional period will be for you. And also it will help in to activate your pineal gland and to help you to become more psychic, to help to increase your perception and to help you to just, you know, open that, that third eye up and to receive information that's there. It's been there this whole time, but you haven't been able to receive it. These chemicals can definitely lower your vibration. But another thing that I do to make sure that my vibration is protected and stays high is I always ask either God or Archangel Michael to protect me with his deep blue cloak of protection. Every single day when I wake up in the morning, it's the first thing I do. And this way I know that I am being protected and my energy is being protected from other people's energy. And I'm also being protected from any negative spirits, negative entities, and negative energy around me. So get into the habit of doing that because that will also definitely help to raise your vibration during this time. And that will definitely help to make this transitional period a lot easier for you as we shift from the 3D into the 5D. So let us know in the comments below if there's anything that you use that you have found that is great, that is organic or all natural in nature that you think could benefit other people as well. Let us know in the comments below. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, share it with other people because this information can be very helpful. We want everybody to have this knowledge. So, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I'm sending you light and love, and I will see you in my next video. Take care.